Mm. Okay, let's do it. Welcome to Super Movies, where we watch some stuff. You don't have to! That's right, and this week, we watched The Bloody Ballad of Squirt Reynolds. This is a short. It was only, what, eight minutes long? Seven, eight minutes? Seven, eight minutes long. A very short movie. Uh, 2018, not rated, obviously, because they don't rate shorts. That's right! My shorts, if I had to rate them, they would be... I can't get my leg up. Directed by... I don't know, you wrote it. Anthony Cousins, I think. Uh -huh. Sorry, Tim Herkenhoff and Justin Jones? Justin Jones! Is that what that says? Yep. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm sure. It's Justin Jones. What is that, people? Um So we So Adam, <laughs> what was this movie about? <laughs> Alright, so we went camping for vacation now after we went to the Clown Motel last week and we uh, there's a guy playing a keyboard, and he was telling us the story. And what happened? <laughs> he told us the story of Squirt Reynolds. Yeah. Who was a kid who uh, uh, got picked on a lot when he was at camp, yeah. and he was deformed. <laughs> Jason. Mm. And um, he. Burt Reynolds mask. Yeah, Burt Reynolds mask got like permanently attached to his face. I didn't quite understand it. Hot honey and glue. Burned his job. Burned his face. I didn't quite understand all of it, but he, the mask was permanently attached to his face. Uh, Burt mm. Reynolds mask, and he went crazy and like started lifting weights majorly and killed people, <laughs> like yeah, as you do. All right, it was an '80s uh, throwback, which was cool. I had no idea. I've never heard of this before, and that was cool. And they executed it very well. This movie was freaking hilarious. Yeah, I loved it. I laughed so hard in those eight minutes. Uh, just so many little things, like the the douchebag who's playing guitar at the campfire puts it down and picks up a full-on keyboard and yeah. starts playing it's like that's hilarious the fact that they're at camp not gonna make it <laughs> that's, yeah i love it it's like what the fuck yes and it was meta which it's always i always enjoy that you right know? it's self-aware which is great and it does it well it has a freaking awesome score the guys on the keyboard going and then he came out of the wood and then he's playing music during the kill scenes which is you know yeah I, 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 Dude, I really like the killer and the mask that he had on, and then like the bottom was open, but he was all burned up and ripped up and yeah. nasty. And now it's cool. cool. He looked cool. Had some cool kills. There wasn't a lot, but the few that were in there, were, it was cool. Yeah. And, and practical effects that appeared. Um, the, 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 the guitar string kill was sweet. That was awesome. And you know, and you say there weren't a lot in there, but for eight minutes. True. We've seen feature length movies that had less kills than this. This is very true. I mean, Hope Floats. Had way less kills than this, and it was an hour and a half long. <laughs> but yeah, the guitar string kill made head pancake with it, which was awesome. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Was and pretty I think cool. most of the effects were practical. There were a few that obviously they had to do CGI sure. just realistically, yeah. but it, they didn't look bad. No. So, no, I no. don't care. The, uh, the pacing was great. It like, boom, right from the first scene gets it. Oh, gets into it. And it just never lets up. The it's important in a full length, obviously, but also in a short. Yep. If you get bored watching a short, then you should abort. Um, has a great atmosphere. It has an 80s atmosphere in the woods. It was foggy. It was dark. It was creepy. And the lighting was great. Campfire. Man. You could see everything. And, yeah. yeah. It was just, it was awesome. The acting was good, too. Yes, it was. I mean, I didn't recognize any of these people from anything else. I might have seen them in some, but I, I, no one I recognized. No. But for no-name actors, they were they all did really good. I mean, yeah. you, good on you guys. I feel bad I just called you no-name because you all have names, but <laughs> no, no, nothing that anyone knows. There wasn't much I disliked about this yeah, thing. Yeah, really. I mean, um, I pet or... <laughs> a nitpick, it might, more kills would have been nice. I know it's a short, but there's like three characters that got away. And it's like, well, I hope there's a sequel right. where they're going to get it. Um, but that, you know, I, my only real complaint with this movie is I wish it was longer. I wish yeah. it was a full-length movie because this looks like something I would have had a lot of fun watching, you know, an hour and a half of. I like this short. I've never heard of it until you told me and you said Squirt Reynolds. I'm like, oh, man, I don't know about that, but let's do it. Uh, so we did it. And I enjoyed <laughs> it. was fun. I love 80s throwbacks. People keep saying they, they're tired of 80s throwback. What? Uh, no, I can't get enough of it. So that made me happy. It was gory. It was fun. It was quick paced. It was funny. It was... Shorts we rate four out of four. Yeah. And I'm going to say four out of four. Yeah. Bam, baby. Perfect. You know, this movie had almost everything I love in a movie. 
And it was condensed down into eight minutes, which is great because why don't people understand? I got a short attention span. But yeah, it was, I loved it, man. This movie was a blast. I like the atmosphere. I like the acting. I like everything about it. I'm going to give it a four out of four as well. Make a full length out of it, fellas. Yeah. I, I'd love to see what these guys do next. Yeah. If you are watching, if you are involved in this movie, spread the word so we can help you spread the word. Yeah. Hit us up. We'll, if you have more movies, let us know. We would love to watch more. I yes. suppose we could do the research ourselves, but we're lazy. Yeah. And if you want... If you have stuff that you want us to do, you can email us at supermoviesoutlook.com. You can like and subscribe on here and tell your friends uh, if you want. If you don't, just do it! Um, and you can also go to facebook.com slash stupidmovies, Instagram at stupidmovies, at the horror, uh, at Dr. Sketch Turner, at the horror pun. We're on there! Yeah. So, holler at us! Oh, oh, before we go, send Rob pictures of your roasted weenies. He's starting a collection. Hmm. Hot dogs. <laughs>